because this one would have to come down. Now you see how she's hollow here and hollow here? Here and here. Yeah, no, behind the whole floor. Yes, I do. Okay. Those are the high points. Okay. And you only want to take off enough hook so that when the file begins to score the sole, that's when you stop. Okay. Okay? You never, ever, ever, under any circumstances, ever take off sole with a knife. Okay. And you will see the, the farrier pair out the sole and pair down the frog as a routine practice. Why do they do that? Yeah. Mostly because they're trying to accommodate the hook mm -hmm. for the shoe. Okay, it's not for the benefit of the hook. Right. It's to fit the shoe. And what does the frog do? The, fro <laughs> the frog? <laughs> do you know what the frog does? Um, is it kind of like a, sh from what I understand, is it almost like a shock absorber? Yes, yes. It's a shock absorber and it is the device that pumps the blood back up the leg. So that's why you want us to walk summer up and down the road to circulate growth. Yes. Gotcha. Yes. Okay. Now, Pick how did again. the way Jeremy did summer's shoes? I know you don't like shoeing on possums, but on anybody. On anybody, we only did it because she was just about walking on her soles and getting them bruised so bad she was. The lame. shoe is not going to pre prevent the sole from being bruised. Okay. The, ho the horse will always step, always step, toe down first, unless it's walking downhill or unless there's something wrong with the horse's leg. Okay? Mm -hmm. Now you see here I didn't do anything. Okay? And like here I didn't do anything because they're, they don't touch the ground. But what I will do mm -hmm. is take the less intense side of the rasp. Okay, mm -hmm. that's rasp, that's fine. Okay. okay. And just very lightly take off a very little bit. And what that does mm -hmm. is it stimulates growth in that area. Okay. Because impact and abrasion are what cause the hook to grow. That makes sense. Okay. Then, but pretty close. Now, once I've got the hook forward, okay, mm -hmm. I roll back front edges. And that's to kind of dull the edge of the hook so it's exactly. not so sharp? Exactly. Gotcha. Yes. Yes. Also, the more uniform the curvature, this way mm -hmm. and this way, the less likely the horse is to stumble. Gotcha. Yeah, okay. I already see a difference. That's much more rounded than... What you want to see, as much as possible, mm -hmm. you see the growth rings on the hook? Yep. Okay. You want to see at least one ring mm -hmm. near the bottom that okay. goes from the, out, from the outside corner all the way around to the inside corner Okay. with a relatively uniform line. Alright, now why is this? That, that tells you that what you're reading from the hoof mm -hmm. is balance. Okay. But I would like you to look and mm -hmm. you tell me whether or not these heels seem balanced to you. See, this feels like it's a li very slightly higher than this side yes. does. Good. Very good. Okay. This kind of thing. Especially right here, this looks like it's missing and that's yeah. pretty high up, so. Yeah, this kind of thing really is of no consequence. Okay. Okay, any, any horse will have some small damage mm -hmm. at, you know, at, at the edges. Don't concern yourself with it. Okay. okay. It doesn't make any difference. It's just a cosmetic circumstance. Okay. Okay, let me get the final Good girl. She is good. If you place the file on the hoof and then rotate it, mm -hmm. you'll see where it scores and where it doesn't. 
And where it scores is where it's too long. And here again, okay, I will file the hook just to the point where I begin to score hook. Mm -hmm. Now, right at the toe, okay, she needed her foot, mm -hmm. okay, you don't want to argue with the horse. No. If she needs her foot, give no, her No, usually foot. if one of my girls starts doing that, I'll let them put their foot down, readjust, and then pick it up again, and then I feel, Good. and I, sorry, hon, and I feel like they do much better if I do that. Yeah. Now, what? the reason, the reason you want some sole mm -hmm. in contact with the ground is to support the hoof wall. Right. Okay, if it's just hoof wall that's coming in contact with the ground, that's going to break. Mm -hmm. If there's some sole right behind in this front area, because that's where the that's where the horse lands. Right. Okay. Not here and not here, but here. Okay. Because, like you said, they go toe to heel. Yes. Now I kind of have a duh question. Sure. Um, different types of horses with different gates. Mm -hmm. Will their feet be worn down differently Absolutely. and are they more prone to certain injuries due to their gait? Not so much to certain injuries. If they're set up right and... Because I find with Nancy Partridge's Peruvians, I would think you'd have to do their feet a little bit differently than a classic Pasifino. Oh yes. Just the normal passes there. They're completely different breed. Okay. You don't look at it because, particularly with the Pasafino, the foot can come up so fast. Mm -hmm. You might it, accidentally clock yourself. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and... It sounds like you're talking from experience, yeah. at least doing it once. <laughs> yeah, that's all it took. Yeah. <laughs> okay, here again, you see what I'm doing is I'm kind of making the edge. And rounding it. Yeah. <laughs> Try to get a uniform circularity mm. to the front and a dull edge. When we get to her right hind foot, I'll show you something that might be true with... Oh, turkeys. Okay, now, now, can horses have a foot preference, like they don't like a certain foot? Absolutely, yeah. This foot, if you go by the heels, is very nearly level, but it tends to grow out here. Right, that steps down, they spread out a little bit. Mm -hmm. When the horse comes up, they come back together because they're elastic. Okay. The back of the hoof is elastic. These bulbs are living tissue. Mm -hmm. Okay, they have a little bit of horn on them, but if you stick them, they'll bleed. Hmm. Let's not do that. Yeah. So, what that does is it keeps the blood pumping through the inner portion of the hoof mm -hmm. where there's living tissue. Right. If you put clips on the shoe, it prevents that from happening. Ah. So, what happens to some extent is the foot itself is deprived of adequate circulation.